Hey guys, Super Sonic One Two Three, aka John here. Welcome to episode number eighteen of the AF Wimbledon Road to Glory Career Mode. And just to let you guys know, just for the first game in today's episode, it will be post commentated because the live commentary that I did uh, got cr or failed in some way. Uh, I don't know what what was wrong with it, but anyway, for the first game today's episode, we take on Aston Villa here at Villa Park in the Championship. And the first chance of the game here found came when Blas Riveras fed his ball into Jonathan Lecco and he slots it past the Villa keeper to make it Aston Villa nil. AF2 Hamilton won inside the first five minutes as the former West Bromwich Albion man gives us the lead away in Birmingham. And it was a very good move as well as uh, MCB finds the new signing Riveras on his debut, pokes in towards Lecco. Lecco kind of toe pokes it past the Villa man but they all count and it kind of comes off MCB uh, Marco Quincus Barrero there, but in the end it uh, ends up in the back of the net, so that's what's important. Anyway, uh, Aston Villa would retaliate here with uh, Jonathan Kojia coming forward. You'd have a shot, would have come back off the post, and it would still be 1 0. Um, we'd have another chance here as Polian heads the ball to Alexander Isaac, and he pokes around towards Moses Odger, and his shot is saved by Villa keeper, put out for a corner. Then Villa would ha would uh, come forward with uh, Kojia here, having a shot, and it's saved down low by our young keeper, Jamie Cooper. Uh, then um, Kojia again involved with uh, Villa here, turns inside his man there, finds the Villa man, his teammate, and his shot is saved excellently by Jamie Cooper to keep it at 1-0. You see Jordan Amavi there with that shot. Uh, very good reaction save from Jamie Cooper. From the corner then, uh, will be taken by uh, Jack Grealish. And the header in from Nathan Baker finds the back of the net. Makes it Aston Villa 1, AS Wimbledon 1. As Nathan Baker equals for the villains here at Villa Park. Um, as we unfortunately lose our lead. 10 minutes to go till half time. Excellent delivery from Jack Grealish from the corner. And Baker with that header loops over Jamie Cooper. And ends up in the back of the net. So we have been set back, back on level terms. Uh, Tennis to go before half time, and then on the stroke of half time, uh, you see uh, Yednak here finding Kojia. Kojia takes a pass, Charles easily. Charles slips on on his backside, and Kojia rifles it into the corner to make it Villa two, Wimbledon one. On the stroke of half time, no chance for Jamie Cooper there. I see Kojia uh, takes a pass, Charles. Charles lunges in too easily, falls over, and it's neatly into the bottom corner, in off the post from Kojia there. Cooper doesn't really move, but there's not a lot he could have done anyway. Right in the corner there. Couldn't have been much more in the corner there from Kojia. And unfortunately, we do uh, go behind. And uh, just in the last little highlight before we go back to live commentary, Blast Reverse has a chance here. It goes wide. So now for the live commentary part of this episode. So there's full time, guys. It finishes Aston Villa 2, AF Wimbledon 1. We fall to defeat here at Villa Park. Uh, Jonathan Lecco's goal is turned around through goals from Nathan Baker and Jonathan Kojia uh, just before the half-time interval, and we fall to our first defeat of the championship season here at Villa Park. But we'll move on from this one. Come on, the Dons. So, guys, player training here, and we have Alfonso Mendes going up to 67 overall. So, guys, for the second game of today's episode, we welcome Leeds United to Kings Meadow here in the championship, hoping to bounce back from that defeat to Aston Villa. So let's go. Come on, the Dons. Dallas. Dallas still, Castro, Castro with the shot, excellent goal by Castro, half an hour in, it's AF Wimbledon nil, Leeds United won a stunner from Castro, not a whole pile we could have done about that, and it's 1-0 to Leeds here at Kings Meadow. Excellent effort from Castro, beats out Cooper with a plum, and not a lot of chance for Cooper there, it's just fizzed into the back of the net by Castro, excellent goal, and, and, Leads to Zerberly in front. And here's a chance for Dazelle to swing this in. In towards Isaac, I think that is. And it's a penalty being given, assume, presumably for handball against Botaka there. We have a chance to equalise from the penalty spot here. As the corner comes in, you see, yeah, definite handball. Flicks off kind of his wrist area there, Botaka. As, uh, as, who is that even? I can't even tell. I think that's Tosin going up to head the ball. And uh, it's just onto the wrist of Otaka. Well, when you got your arm as far out as, he, as his was, you know, you run the risk of giving away a penalty, and that's exactly what he's done. So it is Jonathan Lecco against Robert Green. Lecco with the run up, shoots, strokes it into the back of the net, sends Rob Green the wrong way, and it's AF Wimbledon 1, Leeds United 1. Calm and composed from the former West Bromwich Albion man as he uh, strokes it past the former England international Green 
And it's eight, and it's one one. But the Don's back in little terms. Dallas here. Dallas, excellent cross by Dallas Wood, and another penalty. And the referee has given two penalties in the space of five minutes here. I think that one's against Darius Charles. Remember, he was at fault for um for Kozia's goal in the last game against uh, against Villa. And he might have just handballed it to give Leeds a chance to get back into the lead. I don't even, does he even touch him? Let me see. I don't, doesn't look like it touches him. It might just graze off the side of his arm. I, I'm stunned by that decision, to be honest. It doesn't look like it touches him at all. The referees called that completely wrong and leads to a penalty when they shouldn't have one. Let's hope that Cooper can save it. Cooper did manage to save a penalty on the opening day of the season. So hopefully he can save one here. It's Chris Wood against Jamie Cooper. And Wood finds the net right into the top corner. It's Wimbledon 1, Leeds United 2. And Chris Wood, with that penalty, puts Leeds back in front. Sends the 16-year-old Cooper the wrong way. And an emphatic finish from Wood. And Leeds have the lead again. Only a couple of minutes after we equalised. Hernandez with the free kick. And Tossin heads clear. And there's half time, guys. AF Wimbledon 1, Leeds United 2 at the break. We trail 2 1 at the interval for the second game in a row. Hopefully, I mean, we end up with getting more out of this game than we did out of the Villa one. But we will have to turn it around if that is the case. It's 2 1 to Leeds at the break. Berardi finds Hernandez. Hernandez in towards Woods. Why? Just tries to toe poke it in. Giselle. Lecco. Lecco looks to find a man somewhere. He finds Isaac. Isaac! How did he miss that? He just strokes it wide. And the big Swede can't equalise for us. That's agonising. Miss hits it. And it's an inch wide. Sorry guys, I kind of I lost my cool there. And just kind of exited out of the game. As soon as the referee blew his full time whistle. But it did finish 2-1 to Leeds United. Uh, as, it, as it was, as you would have seen. Uh, I just... <laughs> You know, just got a bit angry, to be honest. Quite a bit angry, actually. But hopefully, hopefully, we'll make something out of this whole game, which is coming up. So, guys, on a slightly lighter note, we have our monthly scattering update for September from Rory Clark. Who have we got? We've got Brendan Kavanagh. We'll sign him. Uh, Luke Murphy. I think we'll leave him on the scout report for now. Niall Cunningham. We'll say no to. Chris McGee. We'll leave in the scout report. Jason Rafferty will say no to, and Casey O'Grady will definitely say no to. So guys, for the third and final game of today's episode, we take on Hull City away at the KCOM Stadium in the Championship. Despite those two defeats, we still sit in fourth place. And while we are ten points off the top, which is a bit discouraging, there's a long way to go for us to make that up yet. And we face Hull City here, away from home, recently relegated from the, from the Premier League. So another stern test today. So hopefully we'll pull through. Come on the Dons. Mendes. Alfonso Mendes. Into Polian. Polian takes it round his man there. Still Polian. Still Polian. And Toselli makes the save. Dizel. Cross in. Toss in. Toselli with a fantastic save. To deny the man alone from Manchester City. Now here's Moses. He's been pretty poor in the last two games. Can he inspire us here to a better result? Well... What he can do is try and find Isaac, and Isaac can find Lecco. And Lecco, he's still going. It's Lecco, and an excellent goal by Jonathan Lecco makes it whole nil. AF Wimbledon won, 20 minutes in here. He goes to the Wimbledon fans to celebrate in that far corner. But Jonathan Lecco, with a piece of brilliance, gives the Dons the lead here. Excellent ball fed into him by Isaac. Takes it round Robertson, and then past Curtis Davis, and finesse it past uh, to Sally there. And slots it right into the bottom corner. It's a fantastic goal by Lecco. Fantastic piece of skill. And the, the former West Bromwich Albion man means that we ha he, it's his third goal in a row. He scored the opening goal against Villa. He scored the penalty again in the last game against Leeds. And he scored here at the KCOM. Giselle. Lecco. Excellent through ball. Ina. Can swing that in. Lecco 2 0 in the blink of an eye. Jonathan Lecco makes it hole 2. AFC Wimbledon 0. And would you just believe it? That's 4 in this episode for this guy, Lecco. And he's just turning into a bit of a revelation right now. 
Ball comes out to Aina with the delivery. Lecco's rushing in and he heads it past the whole goalkeeper to make it 2-0 Wimbledon. There's half time, guys. Hull City nil. AF Wimbledon 2 at the break. Two goals from that man, Lecco, means that we lead with a two goal margin at the KCOM Stadium at half time here. A fantastic first half from that man as well. As he gets the as he gets his brace, his fourth goal in this episode. Here's Dizelle, can try and swing this ball in. He gets the delivery in, it's Charles, it's saved by Tesselli from the header. There's full time as well, Hull City nil, AF Wimbledon 2. Those two first half goals from Jonathan Lecco, quick fire goals they were as well, are enough to give us the win here against Marco Silva's men at the KCOM Stadium. I'm happy to get three points on the board after the two defeats in this episode. So let's keep going, let's keep a, a consistent run of good form going. Hopefully we can manage that. Come on the Dons. So guys, Andrew Dizel goes up to 67 in this week's player training. Sorry. So guys, that brings to a close episode number 18 of the Wimbledon Road to Glory. In the next episode, you guys will see us face Brentford at home, go to Loftus Road to face QPR, and also international break here, and then Ipswich at home in the championship. So not the some of the less challenging teams in the league than what we face in today's episode. And having a look at the table, we sit in fourth place, eight games played, four wins, two draws, two defeats, and we sit ten points off top of the table Wolves already, who have been, still have a 100% record of eight wins out of eight, which is phenomenal at this stage. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next episode of the Wimbledon Road to Glory very soon.